Hey there! If you're watching this, it's because you want to activate your Mint Mobile plan via eSIM on your iPhone. Before we begin, here's a little video cheat sheet for you. First things first, make sure you haven't canceled your current service yet. If you're bringing your number, you'll also need your account number, billing zip code, and number transfer pin from your current carrier to complete the transfer. The number transfer pin may only be valid for a brief time, so we recommend getting it right before you're ready to activate. And make sure your current carrier doesn't have a port or transfer lock on your number. And if you're bringing more than one line from the same account to Mint, make sure you transfer the primary account holder's number last. Your iPhone also needs to be unlocked and compatible with our service. And make sure your iPhone software is fully up to date. Ready? Let's get activating! First, connect to a stable Wi-Fi network and download the Mint Mobile app from the App Store. Open it and select Activate Your SIM Card. Once the app detects your iPhone is eSIM compatible, enter your 11-digit ACT code. Then it's time to make a decision about your phone number. Select Keep Your Current One to bring your phone number to Mint. If you want a new number, select Get a New One and don't worry about these next few steps. Enter your phone number and zip code, then select your current carrier, enter your account number, billing zip code, and your number transfer pin. Finally, enter your first name, last name, and email to submit the number transfer request. You can check the status of your transfer in the app or wait till you receive the confirmation email. Once your number has successfully transferred to Mint, or if you got a new number, it's time to install that eSIM. The app will direct you to install your Mint eSIM. Be sure to remove any physical SIM cards before installation. When the pop-up appears that says, Activate new eSIM, click Allow. It may look a little different on your iPhone depending on your iOS version. Then, tap Continue and follow the instructions to complete the eSIM installation on your iPhone, making sure to select the correct network. If you don't get a signal right away, just restart your iPhone and that should do it. Great job! If I ever need a co-host, I'll keep you in mind.